Okay, welcome back to Dell World 2012, Texas. This is SiliconAngle.com, SiliconAngle.tv's live coverage of Dell World 2012. This is theCUBE, our flagship program. We go out to the events to extract a signal from the noise. We're here wall-to-wall -wall coverage, six hours a day, both days here at Dell World. We're digging in. We just had Michael Dell on uh, for uh, a good 15 minutes, digging into his vision, his culture, how he's seen these transformations before, and uh, great content. So that video will be up on youtube.com slash siliconangle. And uh, we're just loving it. We're digging into Dell and, and, and really looking at the IT, changing landscape, changing data center, changing end user consumerization experience. I'm John Furrier, the founder of SiliconAngle.com, and I'm joined with my co-host. I'm Dave Vellante of Wikibon.org, the source for open source research. Uh, we're here with Russ Fujioka, who's the Global Vice President of Solutions Marketing at Dell. Russ, welcome to theCUBE, thanks, thanks for coming on. No, oh, absolutely, my pleasure. I don't know how I follow uh, Michael, <laughs> but uh, I, mean, I, was, I think I was mentioning Listen, it before, this is Dell World, that means Michael Dell World, right? I got to tell you something, it's, it's almost better to follow Michael than it is to follow Tarkin Maynard. <laughs> oh, yeah. Because the energy yeah. level, is, forget it. By the way, when did Tarkin come? Because has it died down so I could... He was here at 1.30, it was, and Michael was supposed to go on right after him. I was a little worried about that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, we love Tarkin. But because, Tarkin's, uh, yeah. Tarkin's the because showman, Clinton he's good late. content. <laughs> great content, oh, great man. stuff. What a guy, great so, guy. So solutions marketing, talk about what that is at Dell. I mean, it could be a lot of things to a lot of people. What, what is it to Dell? Well, I mean, I think that uh, Dell World is the, is the actual incarnation of solutions marketing. So. This is a show that, my it's 2.0 this year. Uh, my group is the one who puts this on. And um, it is, I mean, I think if you look at where, where Dell has gone in its journey from devices to really systems to solutions, I think when you get to the solutions, it's really the outside in look, right? So. Customer view. Absolutely, and customer pain point, maybe even helping them beyond, so you become the trusted advisor. So you're really looking at what is that business with the thing in IT that can help them change their business, right? So obviously there are different things in CRM and insights and big data that you can extrapolate. The reasons why you see CMOs becoming big IT consumers now, right? So that whole big data area. Big budgets, know, those CMOs. Yeah, right, are absolutely. For, and for and you, know, they, um, you know, so those things tend to be one-to-one -one in, in, in business use, but everything else that you see and, and the challenges in BYOD, security across the board, I mean, these are things that we're helping our customers with every day. So, it's not necessarily even saying, I have a disaster recovery application for you. You know, it's more about, let me you know, help you understand how we can empower your workforce, how can we can future-proof your IT infrastructures uh, on both a data side and an end-user compute side. So, you talked to Tarkin, I'm sure Tarkin gave you a little bit of a uh, view on cloud client computing and he, pocket cloud a little bit. He really talked to us, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, He's great, we love him. Um, but yes, absolutely. Yeah, but, but integration is what he heard. The so first of all, the transformation, first of all, IT services you guys are, have been in for a while. It's not new to Dell. I mean, I remember you guys broke into the server business back in the 90s um, and, you know, small little position, grew it rapidly. Obviously, desktops were, were screaming at the leadership position pretty much during that time, but over that time, you have a position, you have customers, <laughs> Dell's in the data center, you've been there, right? But now you're seeing it all come together with some acquisitions, Quest, et cetera. So you're now a full portfolio of a solution. So, okay, got that. But now we're living in an era of financial cliff 19 days away. Um, you got data centers being transformed and reconstructed. Um, we're hearing this notion of, I wish I had a clean sheet of paper. The legacy is not viewed as good enough right, right. anymore. So tell us, how are you marketing to that world? I mean, like, is it end to end? Um, Dell's the the full package, full service. Well, I, I mean, I, I think it's more. Uh, I mean, that's right in Dell's wheelhouse, actually, and and uh, not the fiscal cliff, but the uh, the idea that the tenants that we we're kind of born of and about is that open, capable, affordable nature of our our business, right? And so, you know, as Michael said in this keynote, we aren't we aren't really tagged to heritage infrastructures, but what we are doing is augmenting uh, the infrastructures that you do have to modernize and make them more efficient and agile, right? So, so we're if you have heritage, absolutely. You talked about services, right? apps and BPO modernization, you know, things like that. They, you know, Unix to Linux, taking them from mainframe to x86. I mean, a lot of these things are 
are the ways that we are creating more efficient IT models and more scalable. So the ability to get what their compute models are on a on a platform that scales better, is more open, takes kind of half of the footprint, half of the energy, and uh, again can grow with your business. It's kind of Dell's heritage. Right? I mean, I, I always look at I always look at the data center discussions. You know, being kind of a geek on, uh, and 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 knowing having fun in that world and. It has gotten complicated. You saw the you know the overblown of uh, of servers getting racked and stacked, sprawling, power and cooling. We heard one of your clients saying you know they cut their footprint down in half, more efficient. Actually, actually got more performance. Um, so the world the world's obviously changing. So so I look at the data center as like a, a metaphor, like a metaphor, like a PC. I mean, there's components in there. It's the operating environment. You have disk. You got processors. You have subsystems. So so Hark and Mainer use the term systems management overdose. There's like there's a lot of systems management stuff going on. So Dell has always been good at assembly, <laughs> you know, mail order to build to order to supply chain scale. So do you look at the data center kind of like that? You're assembling now these building blocks. Is that the strategy, or is it integrating across the board? Well, I, I think that you know what Tarkin alluded to on the systems management overhaul is there's always this elusive single pane of glass that that everyone's looking to manage uh, and provision workloads or you know, to move them on-premise and off-premise, but very easily. But there's everyone has their own systems management routine. So, so you bring, know, you bring your own systems management to the data center workday. Well, you know, I think, and that's really kind of what it is, right? I mean, yeah, it is. And and you know, again, the the ability for you to build systems management tools and applications that work with other tools, so that you could choose to use one single pane of glass, or at least work through something. It is it's got a lot of value. I mean, a lot of it, our active infrastructure launch and the ability to manage these things. The first thing that comes through, so you talked about power utility, it's amazing. You can go into these, we can talk about big data, we talk about all of these really hard questions and solutions, and in the end, the CIO will look at you and say, I need to take my power and cooling down and, and can, can I do this with less people? Yeah, that's a mandate right now. I mean, <laughs> we're hearing that across the board. Facilities issues, footprint, and power. So ARM chips, for example, are interesting, right? We see HP doing a lot of stuff with ARM. They've been in a lot of announcements. Is Dell on the same track there? Are you building your own silicon? Are you looking at uh, partnering with other chip manufacturers? Because you know there are innovations that you guys have done with the power and efficiency that's software related, right? And also chip related. Can you share with how that fits in? Or is that not your? Well, it's certainly not my, my sweet spot, but I will tell you if you have, uh, if, uh, if you have on your interview schedule, uh, Forrest Norad, or um, um, someone from our, uh, like Marriott Haas, we, you'll, you'll find that we do have ARM servers um, that we were actually probably first to market in. And we're actually, I think, in, into our second generation of the ARM server. So, so we, are, we are looking at, at all of those different areas. And, and again, I'm not the one to go into Well, let me ask you the, the, the solutions marketing. That's the biggest demand right now that we're seeing. So big data is a big hyped up area, but it's relevant. People want to talk about that business analytics. Analytics obviously is a killer app for today, right? It will evolve into others, but there's, there's also a big data angle in the data center, measurement, you know, instrumentation of, of the systems. Um, you know, putting that aside, what is, and that's driving a lot of services by the way, we're seeing that adoption. What are you seeing as the, the number one, two, and three, if you were to stack rank the, and the solution demand by your customer base uh, out there as you guys go to market and bring all this together. What are the top three solutions that are, are on the top of the, sh the list for your partners? Well, it's interesting. So uh, again, Dell World behind me, the way it's architected is actually the five biggest pain points we hear every day, right? And, and you'll, you look behind me and you know, security runs through all of them. So whatever the topic is today, whether that's BYOD and consumerization, they'll talk about security. Whether that's Cloud do uh, whether you're kind of in convergence, virtualization convergence to cloud security. Uh, when we look at social media and, and these other forces, these are the, the things that we hear every day. But again, you know what it goes down to is also help me figure out how I can actually invest in that. And in order to help them do that, we have to make them more efficient with their their IT infrastructures today, right? So, okay. so the idea okay, of getting we're, we're, uh, we're getting the hook here, but I want to just go back and just give you a 30 seconds for the last word. Um, we've been impressed with Dell's solution. They've always been customer centric. Michael was talking about that. Share with the folks the sound, the bumper sticker for Dell solutions, or the the quick quick summary of 
what they need to know about what's going on with the Dell Solutions marketing right now for what you're doing. So the big sound bite I would have, and the reason we do Dell World is I really don't believe that people understand how much we do today. And uh, It's mind boggling. And <laughs> I just think that they can walk through uh, the Solutions Expo today and it will be this, the, the, the one quote we'll always get is, I had no idea you did this. So how many people real quick are here on the show? Do you have a numbers? Do you have num any numbers? I think we're, uh, we're north of 5,000 customers and partners. 5,000. Um, given the keynote that we saw today where we had to move people out of there, that was uh, set for over 5,000. Well, you guys are definitely viewed as a tier one player on both the hardware and solution set. Obviously, servers are growing. Marius was you know, talking about that yesterday, and again, Michael was talking about 64,000 servers away from being number one worldwide. So, uh, you know, business is good, and I think that's a good package you guys have. Congratulations, and uh, thanks for having theCUBE here. We really appreciate it. We've had a great uh, first day so far. We had all day tomorrow. And Marius is going to come on. We hear Michael Dell's making that happen. So, oh, perfect. We really well, appreciate it. Well, we appreciate you guys coming. I mean, I know that uh, I know that Michael, uh, you know, absolutely wanted to make sure that you were here and experience this. So, thanks for yeah, coming. Yeah, we pleasure. really appreciate it. Thanks a lot. This is the ESPN of Tech uh, talking much. game day here at Dell World. A lot of action. Actions in the data center. Actions in the consumer experience. At the end of the day, it's all about putting together to build business value in the IT consumerization trend. I'm John Furrier, SiliconANGLE. We'll be right back with our next guest after the short break.